Hi everybody, it's Chef Shauna Grindstaff of Dine One One here to do another cooking adventure with you. So what are we making today? Well, hey, it's the middle of the summer. So I was thinking, hmm, want something quick, want something easy. And what's plentiful right now? Hot dogs. So today we are going to be wow. making crescent dogs. Wow. So let's take a look at the board and what we're going to use. Today we're going to use a tube of crescent dough that you can just get from the grocery store. It comes in a tube. It's kind of fun because you break it open. It's like a party in a can. Uh, we're going to use a package of hot dogs. And then I'm going to show you a couple different variations. So I made one already so you don't have to wait for the follow-up video. This is one of our crescent dogs here. That one's a plain one. So I'll show you one plain one and then I'll show you a cheesy version. And my brain was thinking about this and I was like, oh yeah, how many people like chili dogs? So a chili cheese version of this would also be delicious. Messy, but delicious. Okay, so let's get started. What are you gonna do? After you've washed your hands, get your package of hot dogs. I've laid out my crescent dough. Now the thing I like about the crescent dough is that it comes in triangles. So it's super easy to work with. So all we're gonna do is for like our first hot dog here, take your hot dog. I start with the widest part of the dough. So let me move this one out of the way real quick so you can see what I'm doing. Take your hot dog, lay it on the end there, and all you have to do is just roll your hot dog. That's it. Just roll it up. That one was kind of skinny, so it's not going to have a super ton of crescent dough on it, but that's okay. So then our next one. So I want to change up my flavors a little bit. So if you want to make the cheese version or the chili version, you might even want to put two of these together so that you have something that's going to kind of encapsulate your hot dog. So I'm going to take and sliced cheese would be fine. I have shredded. So my first, I'm going to put my cheese on top of my crescent dough. And the thing I like about this is because it's crescent dough, I don't have to worry about putting down any kind of nonstick like I don't have to use cooking spray or butter or anything. So, um, all right, so we have our cheese that goes on top. So then if you were gonna do chili with this, you could put your chili right on top of this, or you could even just use your chili afterwards. This is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because you're like, hmm, I start to roll this, what's gonna happen with the cheese? So again, take your hot dog, put it at the end here, and you're just gonna carefully, so that your cheese doesn't fall out, you're gonna roll it, Super duper carefully here, keeping that cheese inside. There we go. Excellent. And we've got our little dog here. And since I made, I'm gonna make, let's just do one with a little bit smaller. So you can think about your toppings. Like I think maybe some either grilled onions or some raw onions would be really delicious with this. Uh, definitely the cheese would be good. So I'm gonna put some more cheese on here. The chili might be a little tricky, so you might want to add the chili afterwards, or it would probably be like even just good to just dunk it in there. A little ketchup, a little mustard, whatever you like. So you can kind of just mix it up. So when you send me your videos, you can let me know what you did with your crescent dog. What variation did you use? That's the best part about cooking, I think, is just all the different things that you can do. So you're just gonna take your hot dog, so now if you start with the skinny end and roll the other way, that probably would work too, but I just find that like having the most area to roll is best. So you're just going to, and go slowly, because if you try and go too fast, like your cheese is gonna fall, you're gonna have this big old mess on your hands. So you're just gonna roll it and then put it on your cookie sheet. All right. So there you go. You are going to open oh, here comes Annie the Wonder Dog again. Boy, she is just loving the kitchen. All right. So you're gonna put your hot dogs on your baking sheet. Put that in the oven about 10 minutes till your crescent dough is nice and cooked. Should have this nice brown look to it. And then when you're done, it's kind of like having a corn dog, but I think a little bit better. Then you can just easily dunk that in some ketchup or some mustard. And it, you don't even have to worry about your hot dogs falling out of your bun because it's basically wrapped around your hot dog. So you're good to go. So send me your videos. Let me know how yours turned out. And I can't wait to see them. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.